Hi, I'm Richard from TurboSmart. This year we've added the pneumatic straight gate and the vacuum straight gate to the straight gate family. But what's the difference between the three? All three products have the same butterfly valve size and design, same housing and flanges. The difference between them is how the valve is controlled. We have an actuator to suit anyone's preferred control strategy. The ultimate would be the current E straight gate 50. Complete control over the valve. Code your own control strategy in your ECU to suit your needs by direct drive and positioning of the valve. Suitable for savvy tuners who understand PID control, algorithms, and detailed mapping. For users who want the benefit of the balanced butterfly valve and the flow characteristics of the straight gate with the plug and play nature of a mechanical wastegate, we have introduced the pneumatic pressure and vacuum straight gates. Like with traditional poppet style wastegates, pressure is plumbed to the actuator and acts as a driving force. Once pressure has exceeded the load applied on the actuator from the spring, the valve will begin to open and bypass exhaust energy from the turbine, effectively controlling shaft speed and hence controlling goose pressure. However, unlike traditional poppet valves, exhaust back pressure has less influence on the butterfly valve, which means more control over the valve from the actuator, resulting in a wider range of boost control from a set spring. We've seen over five times boost pressure over spring rated pressure in testing. Having both top and bottom ports means different control strategies can be used to apply pressure or vacuum to the top or bottom of the diaphragm. The vacuum actuator version can be used in conjunction with a vacuum pump, giving the user control over the valve at any boost pressure, as boost pressure is no longer the control signal for the actuator. This means the valve can be actuated to the open position, even at idle, where there is no boost pressure. Why is this beneficial? An important emission control device on a car is a catalactic converter, also known as a CAT. The CAT works by burning particular gases from combustion to reduce the harmfulness of the exhaust gas. For the CAT to function, it needs to be at a certain temperature. During cold startup, it will take time for the CAT to reach operating temperature, and the only thing heating it up is the exhaust gas. Not only is the CAT absorbing heat energy from the exhaust, but also the turbocharger, as the exhaust gas needs to flow through the turbine before reaching the cat. A vacuum actuated straight gate can be manipulated to be open during cold startup. This would allow more exhaust heat energy to bypass the turbine and enter the cat to aid in reducing the time it takes to heat up the cat, effectively reducing the amount of harmful emissions from the engine. Great for turbo kits on the market that need to meet emissions testing requirements. Due to the potential wide range of boost control, straight gates are suitable for engines on cars that are extremely traction limited. Categories such as front wheel drive drag racing, twin turbo V8s and small tire drag racing require very low boost during the launch and as much boost as possible in the back end for mile per hour. With the straight gate, the reliance on complex systems such as CO2 control and a four port solenoid is reduced while still achieving a wide range of boost pressures. The flow characteristics of the straight gate are also more linear compared to the poppet style, which means the reliance on sizing to achieve good boost control is reduced. For more information on this product, please check out our website at www.turbosmart.com.